Hello everyone, my name is Michael Sherman, and today I'm going to be doing the short version of a review of The Conquest of Go. So let's begin. Uh, first, let's uh, just start a new campaign. I'm going to keep everything pretty much default other than uh, the AI strength. I'll... Actually, I'll just keep it at default too. Why not? So this game, you have a world map. Uh, essentially, you can start wherever you want, and you can play anytime, anywhere. Um, and each map has a name. Sarandel, Isario, Belfast, and Valaris. And every each one has a name, and each number uh, is how big the board is. So we have a 9x9, 9 9, 13x13, and 19x19. Uh, as you play the game, you will take over territory if you win a Go game. So, uh, I'm assuming you guys all know what Go is, so I'll just quickly jump into a game. Uh, I'm not going to do too much thinking in this game, because I just kind of want to play it to show you the review. Oh, I forgot this is supposed to be a quick review. So, um, this is the game. Uh, essentially, you play uh, Go, and it has fun animations and like pictures. And So when you Atari, you see the castle or the stones crack and break. And uh, it has nice music. I like the aesthetics of the game. You can change the maps. Winter hurts my eyes. And everything else is pretty okay. I don't like the basic one. The sound of the stones don't sound appealing to me, but everything else is pretty good on these other boards. Um, I like the cracked pieces once they're broken, and uh, the game is fun. It's go. Uh, you know, how can you get more fun than that? I'm gonna pass. I think I might have lost. Wait, wins. Oh, I won. I won by 4.5. Uh, thanks to Comey. Okay, cool. So I won the first game. So you win. When you win, uh, you get experience points. It bases it on score and difficulty and uh, level. And as you can see, the AI difficulty leveled up to level 2. So now each time you win, the uh, computer gets stronger, essentially. When you win, you get these little dots here showing your victory. Plus, uh, uh, it shows how much you won by. So now we'll go into the review section. This is fun. When after you beat the game, as you can see, they have like little villages and like the broken stones, like the broken walls of white. Or um, actually, I think that was just uh, there. Like this is just cobblestone. Um, they have resources, so this is how you get your resources from these games and little villages. And if the computer finishes this analysis, sometimes they'll have comments on your moves. But this one, maybe I haven't given enough time to show that. Either way, let's go to the review. The review um, system, I don't really like. Um, first of all, I wasn't playing black as the, uh, as GNU was, so it's... Well, I guess that doesn't matter. But <laughs> the review system, I can't place down the stones, so I can't make my own variations. I don't like that. I think you should be able to make your own variations. Every time I'm reviewing in any other engine, you can like play around and like figure out your own things. Um, so this shows territory analysis. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm sure it's helpful and useful for you know some people, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So I'll keep that off. Uh, it shows win rate and score uh, scoring. Uh, you can change the board here as well. I guess we can change it up. Let's change it to sand. I like sand. Um, you can change the song. You can have the tree, which you use the up and down arrows. I think the tree's kind of silly because uh, you can't make variations on the tree. So, you know, why is it even here? Um, <laughs> SGF output that shows the details of the match. 
Uh, you can go back to the campaign map. You can go back to the exit menu. And then this is the board analysis. So it shows you where you it was played in the game and it shows you where the best moves are in the game. Um, if you're on the 19 by 19, I notice it uh, loads up so many variations, it gets kind of intense. But on the 9 by 9, it's very small. Now, when you highlight the move, it will show you usually 10 to 13 uh, moves. And if you're okay with this, that's great. Me personally, I don't like that it shows all the moves um, and that you can't play through them. So I can't like play, I can't play this one and then slowly play this one and contemplate like why this is the better move. And then on the third move down here, you can see it. Um, <clears throat> my point is that, it, is that I can't play through it slowly and all of it's on the page all at once. And I like AI Sensei and OGS Premium um, for being able to play out the moves slowly to like figure out why and feel like why these moves are good. So unfortunately, I don't like the reviewing system for the non-ability to make variations. I don't really enjoy the computer analysis as much because of this, uh, how it spews it all out and I can't play through it slowly. I guess if I put a board next to me in real life and then played it out on the board, then I could really do that the way I want, like play each move slowly and like contemplate each move. But that sounds like a lot of work for, you know, a computer game that should be able to do it. So that's my suggestion to the uh, programmer if they ever watch this is that they should consider uh, allowing you to, if you like click a variation, maybe throw it on the tree and then you can slowly go through it. That would be much more better. Uh, also, I suggest adding variations so that you can play stones where you want and have your own variations. I'm sure that's just my personal thing. Uh, is there anything else about the reviews that I want to talk about? This is the, supposed to be the quick one, so I guess I'll leave it at that. The one thing I do enjoy is this. I find that super fun to watch. Um, it's just very enjoyable to me. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's all fun. Um, let's move on. Go back to the campaign map. So I showed you the gameplay, I showed you the reviews, I showed you the overworld map, and the resources. I didn't really talk about the resources, so um, let's see if we can get into another game. The resources um, allow you to do things. Let's say if you made a mistake, unfortunately undo costs 100 stone, and I like to use undo often um, <clears throat> when I'm playing computers. So, in my campaign, I ran out of stones very quickly. Uh, this shows send scouts to survey the land so you can see that territory thing I was telling you about. Once again, I'm not really a huge fan of this anyway. And then when you place a move, it all disappears. So, ugh, to me, it's a waste of resources. This one can be interesting. Uh, find the most advantageous move. Um, so, it just like the computer analysis, it'll show you like where some of the best places to go are, so that's pretty cool. Um, when you highlight it, it doesn't show you the variations like it does in the review. But if you do find variations, uh, you can now see like where the computer thinks most the most optimal play will begin or start. So, pretty interesting stuff. Um, yeah, so <laughs> those are your resources and using the resources. So I'm going to go back to the campaign map. It's nice that you can leave the games at any time and it'll sit there and wait for you. Um, my final thoughts on this game. So it is fun and I enjoyed the fact that I was able to play over 50 games in two days. Like it was pretty, uh, pretty fun. Unfortunately, because the review system uh, is to me lacking like it's not enjoyable to use compared to like AI Sensei or even just OGS Premium. I don't really enjoy doing the reviews as much in this game. Um, and that's a big selling point for me. This is what I wanted. I wanted to like really review the games and like learn from some AI but 
Ugh, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it right now. I'm hoping that they update it by the time the game is done. So that's my biggest gripe on it. Uh, I did enjoy myself. I like the sounds. I like the music. I like the um, the drawings. So like the atmosphere and aesthetics of the game. That's what I really enjoy. And it's just cool that it's a freaking Go a game based on Go. That's awesome. Uh, the cons was the review though. There was some glitches. Um, but I've already noticed some of the glitches have already been patched out already within two days, so that's pretty cool. Um, some suggestions. The campaign does feels a little lackluster. It feels like it doesn't uh, have enough like content. In my opinion, it would be much more better if maybe each country or a few countries were already owned by like a general and had, the general had like personality, male or female. Uh, I think of a game like Advance Wars, like the characters in that game were so fun and it was fun to beat them. Like it was fun to see how, what they would say when they lost or when, how cocky they were when they won. Um, so you could really put some personality into these territories by having like one character who rules either each one or one character who owns like four or five and then another character who owns four or five um it would give the game more stake like more uh just give you gives the player more feeling and enjoyment unfortunately when you're just taking these territories like i took this one you saw me on game it just felt like lifeless i was just beating a computer and now i get a check mark on this land you know what i mean like uh, it, it's okay though. It's still really fun. Um, I just uh, there's definitely a lot of room to improve. Would I recommend the game? Uh, so here's the thing. I would, of course. I think that we should always support our fellow Go creators and content creators, and you know the the progress of the game. Like, hopefully this reaches a lot of beginners. My problem with it though is GNU bot is actually really tough. And I've been seeing in a lot of the comments on Reddit and Facebook that a lot of beginners are having a lot of issues. Not is well, not issues, but they're having a hard time winning their games. They're losing more than winning, which is common, you know what I mean? In my own uh, playthrough, I played 38 games and I won 24 and it allowed me to beat the game, but I lost in 14. And I'm a 2Q, I'm almost the one done, and I had trouble, like, on the 9x9s and 13x13s. Uh, 13 that was pretty crazy. The 19x19, 19 19, my global strategy was good enough to win for the most part. Um, but okay, I don't want to go too much more on this. This is supposed to be the short review. And uh, we could talk about like the tutorial. Um, it's pretty good. I saw my, uh, my friend go through it and uh, she went through the whole thing. Uh, she knows how to play, but she doesn't play often. She's about a 20Q. Um, and it was fun to watch her go through the tutorial. I'm sure it helps out a lot of people learn the rules and fundamentals. Of course, my class and my YouTube is better when teaching the fundamentals. But uh, to review this game, it's pretty good. It's an interactive tutorial. Um, I did play one game online. It was okay. Um, it's pretty much playing on OGS. I'd rather play on OGS, to be honest with you. Um, but to finish the review, I, it's good. It's a fun game, and I'm sure it's only going to get better. And I hope the uh, creator, Wolfie Studios, uh, adds more to it. Uh, I guess I'm not satisfied enough. <laughs> but it's still pretty fun. So... Thank you for watching. This is the quick review. There will also be a very long, extensive review with more footage and more thoughts. <coughs> Thank you. Have a good one.